Hello guys and welcome to the NRC LEGO Cup Series race number 10 here in Atlanta Motor Speedway here at Hampton, Georgia. Kyle Thomas and Zach Danford are your front row today. Um, so Tom Gerard comes into um, Atlanta with a 13 point lead over Robert Pollard who gained 6 spots from last week at uh, Watkins Glen. Zachary Robinson getting his second victory of the season. Um, but let's get ready to fire the engines here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. Drivers, start your engines! That was the man. All right, boys, just like we talked about in the meeting, what's going to pay off for us today? The patience and consistency. Good, smooth racing on the racetrack, and that's what will take us up to the front. We'll be there at the end of this thing. Kyle Thomas right now is uh, 24th in the points, not looking so good, but Zach Danford is 6th. But I did a test race here just about 10 minutes ago, and the pole sitter did not end up so well. But that can all change in an instant as um, me go racing here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. Um, next race is at California. Favorites there are the Sanfers. So they're looking to do good in their um, sort of hometown. The green flag is out here in Atlanta Motor Speedway. Forty-nine laps of racing here. Oh, we already see some three wide for the first third. Look at this, Jean Sanford. She wants to get herself a championship here after losing four positions last week in Watkins Glen. And can Zachary Robinson get his third win of the season? Him and Gerard are the only drivers with multiple wins. And Kyle Thomas will lead lap one. Seeing some really fast speeds right now. Look at this. Drew Austin, who's in third in the points. Coming to second. And I think Gerard's right behind him, though. Yes. If Gerard can get a, um, a sort of not, of not so good finish today. It'll help Pollard and Austin. As right now, Drew Austin's in second, looking to try and get a bonus point for leading a lap. During this time of the season, it is crucial that you need to lead a lap here. And there he goes to the bottom of Kyle Thomas. They are side by side coming down the back stretch. Side by side going into turn number three. Tony Blazer, not someone we haven't really talked about much in, um, in the LEGO Cup series. Um, hopefully he'll sign up next season. Right now he's running third. 32nd in the points, unfortunately, though. And Drew Austin will lead that lap, so a bonus point for him. Good for him. Look, this is one of those drivers who hasn't been so good this season either. Kevin White in the double zero car. He's running 28th in the points. He had some hard wrecks in the beginning of the season from Oreo Nationwide and, um, and, and, and Lego Cup. As he will lead a lap. A lot of lead changes here. Drew Austin falls back to fifth. As the Warrens, the, uh, Jack and Zach are running second and third. Sanford behind, behind them. Jake Williams and Stephen Paul the third fighting for fifth or for fourth. Where's Henry right now? There's Charles Sanford. Oh boy. Where is Henry Sanford? He um he is doing good in the points until a couple bad races brought him down. Um, Sanford's running 10th in the points, not so bad. He still has a chance to win this championship. But someone who brought themselves into the top 10, Zach Robinson. Great races for him. Um, a win last week in Watkins Glen, and something you can really take into, um, into honor, into an advantage for him to win a rate, uh, to win another one, and possibly win the championship. Now we believe IndyCar Series champion James Shelley will not get a championship in the Cup Series this year. Running 21st in the points, 57 back. So, um, oh look at this, May Shelley running 9th um, in the points, running 6th right now. Oh, we had some... Well, I'm wondering what Stephen Paul III and Charles Sanford will do. Will they work together, or will they um, will they look like enemies today in Atlanta, trying to get their first wins of the season? 
College running 20th, Sanford's running 36th in the points. And he's looking to go to the lead. Side by side with uh, Jack Warren. Oh, look at this, are they gonna go three wide? Sanford needs to lead a lap here. He will definitely do that. Oh, wait. Yes, he did. I believe. Yes, he did. By inches, though. But that is going to help him in the long run. Oh, look at this. Gerard's last. Remember, we said anyone can win this race. Pollard's out in front. This track is very slick. And Pollard will lead that lap. But like we said, just by inches. Now everyone's going to be gaining and losing positions here. Is um, pole sitter Kyle Thomas running 32nd right now. No caution so far. Look at this time Pollard in third right now. Good for him. He wants to um, get a win for the Pollards here. Not running so good in the points, I don't think. Let me look for that. Let me look for time right here. Where is he? Where is he? No, where is he? Ooh, 37th in the points. I, I, I thought he was one of those drivers already. So Sanford looking to rebound next season as he will definitely have a reserved ride because he is part of NRC. But, um, yeah, so it should be very interesting to see, uh, if Sanford can get a win here. Remember, he won in Sonoma in the IndyCar series, and it brought him up about 10 positions into the top 10. But obviously, with how many points behind he is, 91 points back, doesn't look so good for him if Gerard is close. Unless Gerard crashes out, then that gives everybody the opportunity to catch up to Gerard in points. We'll find Robert Pollard right now in that 87 car, running 21st. Look at Adam Derrickson, rebounding from the beginning of the season, unfortunately running 27th in the points. But he'll do better. Hopefully next season it's all different for him. Now, who is your leader? It's Jack Warren once again. Followed by, not the camera. Time Pollard, Zach Warren, Mason Williams, Kevin White, and Ali Ann. And we'll find uh, Joey Murphy in the 55, who gained 11 spots from last week. Uh, where is that guy at? There he is in the... 55 running pretty far back right now, trying to work his way up into the front spot. Gerard again running towards the back. Maybe that's a strategy. Sanford goes up back to third. He's staying up in the front in that two GMAT car. Now they have three wide for the top 10 spot. Mike Wagner, Nicole Williams, and uh, Zach Warren. Michael gained seven positions last week, and Nicole gained six. Let's hope they can uh, move themselves into the top 10 in points. Get an opportunity towards the end of the season. Next week we are in California, followed by Dover, Chicago, Las Vegas uh, under the lights, Pocono, New Hampshire, Daytona, Indy, and rounding it out in Homestead. Look at this, Robert Pollard, way ahead of um, Tom Gerard right now, who is running towards this, the back. Uh, um, if Robert Pollard does take this points lead, it would be very interesting to see who's going to be in second, and I believe that would be Zachary Robinson. But we'll find fifth place driver Lily Murphy in the 44 car. Where is she at? She's running right there, mid-pack. 
Let's hope she can make a move towards the front. Try and um, surprise everybody and get a hopefully get a championship for for herself. Katie Elizabeth goes to the lead now. It's fighting with Charles Sanford. Now Katie um, running 25th in the points, not doing so good. Now look at Kevin White. Yeah, this is I think that we're gonna have a first time winner and uh, a big points changer. As Gerard still running towards the back. So this will not be one of his good top 10 finishes. But it'll be a good win for Kevin White here if he can win. 23 laps complete here in Atlanta. It's gonna be very um, exciting to see. Who is going to come out on top? Look at this. Ben Cannon running 39th in the points. Look at this. He's trying to work his way up to the lead. Followed by him is Charles Sanford, Alex Lozano, Katie Elizabeth, and Jack Warren. Wow. Sanford goes to the bottom of Cannon. Looking to try and go back for second. We still have about half a race to go. And we're already seeing probably a record of lead changes. And look at this, Gerard. We don't see him in the back anymore. Oh, there he is. He's running about 35th. But here comes Katie Elizabeth and Mason Williams making it three wide for second. Sanford falls back. And goes back to fourth. Now can anyone catch Kevin White? He's been leading for the past four or five laps. Can anyone catch him? Look at this. Tony Blazer running 32nd in the points. Trying to get a top five for himself. His um, He'll be a first top five of the season. But it would be a second top ten. He needs a top five this season. I don't think he has a good chance of winning the championship, though, but he does have an opportunity to get um, close. Sanford up to second, Blazer to third. Williams fourth, Danford and Warren fighting for fifth. But Sanford to the bottom, passing Kevin White. Oh, but Sa uh, Blazer follows Sanford. Blazer might become your new leader, going out of turn number three. Mason Williams has followed Blazer all this time around this lap. And it will be. Oh, I think it was Sanfer. Yep, Sanfer. Sanfer led another lap. Blazer will probably lead this one. Oh, he won't. Sanfer, or excuse me, Blazer stuck on the high side. Jack Warren and Ben Cannon go to the bottom, followed by Kevin White and I believe, yeah, Adam Derrickson. So Blazer will not get that point for leading a lap, unfortunately. And look at Sanford falling back as well. Not what you want to see for him. He needs to push his way up into the points. Um. Oh, Kevin White hits the wall. Oh, no. That's not good. That can really affect your car here. If he'd rather be slower or faster right now. But look at this. Lily Murphy into the top 10. Or just trying to slip into the top 10. Look at this. Joey Murphy fighting as well. Trying to get another win for the season for him. Running 15th in the points. Look at this. James Shelley. Where did he come from? Holy crap. Tom Gerard. Look at him. Where did he come from? So is Drew Austin right next to him. But Gerard is stuck on the high side and Austin will pass him. Now I think what Austin needs to do is try and hold off Tom Gerard. Drew Austin needs to lead a lap and possibly go and get a top five or possibly a top three finish. Look at this, Lily Murphy now. Fifth place points play, um, in the points right now. Running fourth, trying to get well, another top five. Her fourth one will be her, her be a fourth one of the season. 
She she runs good if she's um uh, if she gets a top five, but and then next week and then next week she doesn't do so well. But we'll see what happens here. As 17 to go here in Atlanta. Now Murphy goes to third. She might take the points lead at the end of this. 27 points back. We don't know for sure, though. Tom Gerard has had the points lead, I think, almost all season long. And now they go three wide for the lead. Going into turn number one. Lily Murphy will easily get it. And she is now your new leader here in Atlanta. Now we'll find Tom Gerard. We don't really see him. Where is he? Look at this. Gerard running back in 30th. Now where's Drew? Where's Drew? Oh, man. It's not where you want to be running, Drew. You got to go faster. You want If you want to take the points, you have to get up to Tom Gerard and pull in front of him. 14 points. Neither of them have led a lap, so 14 spots to tie him. 15 to um, pass or to pass him in the points but it looks like Robert Pollard's doing that right now I just saw him though I could have sworn I just saw him there he is in that Clorox car now he's looking like he'll get, he'll be able to uh, get the points lead but three spots behind two spots behind him is um Drew Austin I Drew Austin wants this race to end there is rain coming in soon, but I don't know if it'll affect the race and the outcome of it. Look at this, Drew Austin trying to hold off that bottom side. Look at this, passing Charles, passing many people. Oh boy. Look at this. Let's hope Drew Austin doesn't get in a crash. Lily and Joey Murphy's next to him. Drew cannot hold the bottom. Kyle Thomas goes there. Robert Pollard, I think he'll be your points leader coming out of the race. Now who's your leader? James Shelley. Are you kidding me? Shelley has two top fives and two top tens. Wow, what a race this is. Four wide, don't go four wide, guys. They gotta have it, oh boy! Drew Austin stuck on the high side and Gerard is closing. Never mind, I thought that, that the 33, I thought it was Gerard. Oh boy, look at this, Gerard is falling back. They need to give the room to Drew Austin right now. Oh boy, look at this, Henry and Gene Sanford trying to push their way up to the front. Charles Sanford in front of them. It's an it's a it's a Sanford reunion here in Atlanta. Now will Drew Austin take that as an advantage and pass all three of them to gain those three spots? We don't know, but James Shelley is still out in front with 10 to go, or 9 to go. Robert Pollard right now running about 12th. Not probably where he wants to be right now. And probably Drew doesn't want to be here right now. He needs to stay up in the front. He's had a fast car all day. But Robert, he needs to pass Robert Pollard for the lead, for the points lead here. He hasn't passed Pollard. Pollard will be the points leader coming out of here in Atlanta. He passes Danford and Jean. He can't pass James or Jack right now, but they are closing in. Six to go. Look at this, they're just giving Drew the room. Wow. Now, where is Tom Gerard right now? Oh, boy. This is not where you want to be. And Nick Nileman, just the terrible season continues for him. As look at this. Adam Derrickson's out in front. Wow. 
Now I think Drew Austin is good right now with a 12th place. Or yeah, no, what? I don't know. He's right now in a good spot. He's passing Henry Nova for another position. Is there enough laps for um, Drew Austin to pass Robert Pollard? Two cars in front of him is Robert. We'll, ch we'll bring you back to this. And who's running the faster lap? 25.779, 25.819. Drew is running the slower lap. I think he'll stay with a 12th place finish. That is still good compared to where Tom Gerard is. Running 37th, not where you want to be as your points leader. Look at this, we have a good fight for the lead so far. Oh, but look at this, Robert Pollard going another position up. And Drew is falling back. Is he trying to conserve fuel, maybe? He's going to lose 12, possibly 13. He might, oh, Shelly gets to the bottom of him. Yes, he will, and he'll lose a lot more. Oh, this is not a good ending for Drew. It's three to go here in um, Atlanta. Pollard with a sixth place finish, or sixth place right now. And Mason Williams is out in front, followed by Ali Ann and James Shelley for third. Two to go, side by side, coming back to the line is Mason Williams. Oh, man. Look at this. Sixth place right now for Robert Pollard. He's going all out. Trying to get a second one of the season. One at Michigan. Now in race number six. Looking to try and get a top five. White flag is out. One to go for Allian. Now where's Drew? He's back in 15th and dropping even more. Now I don't think Pollard can catch Ali Ann right now. Coming on to turn coming into turn number four. Now exiting turn four. Ali Ann is gonna get her first victory here in the um Lego Cup series. She will win in Atlanta. Great job to her. You see Tom Gerard coming back into like 37th, I think. 36th. Oh man. Let me export this immediately. Atlanta. So congratulations to Allianne getting her first victory of the season. Um, right now she is. Where can I? Why can I find her? She's seventh in the points. Wow. She's seventh in the points. Twenty-eight points back. Or excuse me, thirty points. Yeah, thirty points back. My bad. 30 points back, and I think she might be your points leader now. We'll find out, and we'll see you guys in California. Thank you all for watching.